My name is Wayne Will, uh, product specialist with CNB. Um, been in this role for a year and a half or so. Uh, as, as a product specialist, been in the deer world for five or six years now. Um, but today I'm going to cover uh, mostly just on the green sprayer, but we're going to go over some of the key features that benefits of sea and spray, right? You've heard the, the buzzwords of sea and spray and the sense and app type technology. Um, what, is it, what makes it work? What makes it tick, right? So we're going to cover some of that here. Uh, give you a better idea of how the system works and what kind of you know makes the magic happen so that being said before we get too far into it there's a lot more that we can cover in 15 minutes obviously um, so please reach out to us at CNB or you know talk to somebody with a name tag if you do have questions after the fact um, we got enough people here we can get you an answer um, depending on what it is so um, also equipment mobile there's a nice little app on your phones you can get that has all the quick reference guides, operator's manuals, serial number specific parts, uh, things like that. Really handy tool that you can have on your phone. So, uh, with that being said, where's the future of ground application technology taking us, right? So there's a few different things that we can take a look at as far as the future of where we're gonna go with how we put chemical out on the ground, right? And how we put out our crop protection products, right? So, that being said, we have a couple different ways we can do that. We have Sea and Spray Ultimate, which you see behind me here on my left. Uh, which is the from factory dual tank solution system. It's got all the bells and whistles, right? Uh, we also do have, as you see on the screen there, we have Sea and Spray Premium, right? So what's Sea and Spray Premium? It is our performance upgrade type uh, solution for a Sense and Act spraying uh, machine, right? It is compatible back to model year 2018 uh, sprayers and newer, right? So uh, we do have to have Exact Apply and Boom Track Pro 2, but you can get those with the Sea and Spray Premium Upgrade Kit as well. Uh, but essentially, giving us the ability to see the weeds, spray just the weeds, rather than a broadcast application over the whole field. Uh, one of the drawbacks, potentially, maybe it's not a drawback, is that you would not have the dual tank solution system with Premium, right? You're gonna have that single solution system um, that you've, you've been using in the past. Uh, you're just adding the functionality of cameras of see seeing and spraying, right? So that's your Sea and Spray Premium. And I'm gonna spoil it a little bit here, but that's the kit that's gonna be going on the Haggy sprayers next year, right? So we can get it from the factory uh, on the Haggy sprayers. So what makes the CN Spray Ultimate machine different from Premium, right? So one of the differences is that we're gonna be able to spray 12 miles an hour with Premium, um, versus on the Ultimate, we're gonna be able to spray 15 miles an hour, right? And that is a, a testament to the, the how fast the technology is improving and changing over time, right? So the software has been updated. Uh, essentially, not really any hardware has been changed, uh, but as the teams of engineers are working on the software, improving things, um, we've gotten that additional three miles an hour that we can spray, right? So, um, that being said, what do we have on this sprayer? We've got dual, dual products, right? So we can do two different tank mixes, right? So anything that was typically in the past antagonistic to each other, right? You couldn't mix together. Um, we can spray separately, right? So these two tanks can be used completely separate from tank to nozzle tip, right? So there's no cross-contamination, uh, no way of antagonism, uh, counteracting the active ingredients, things like that. So really nice to be able to have that, right? We can do a broadcast residual, and then we can come along the same exact pass and do our spot spraying contact herbicide, right? So anything that's already growing, we're gonna hit it, but we're gonna leave behind that protection for later on in, in the season, so. Um, that being said, we don't lose any functionality with this sprayer over any sprayers that we've had in the past, right? We're just adding layers of functionality on top of each other. So before you can step into something like sea and spray, well, I guess you could step right into it, but essentially understanding the exact apply spray system, right? We've had it out for several years, since about 2018-ish time frame, uh, maybe a little before that, but uh, exact apply is the foundational building block to how sea and spray works, right? We have to have individual nozzle control for it to be able to set, sense and say, this is where the sprayer needs to spray and needs to spray now, right? So it's important that we understand the anatomy of our nozzle bodies, also how the software works in the displays, right? Our interface. So it's important to know how to set it up both on the outside and on the inside uh, to make that work properly. And then we crack open the door of sea and spray, right? So once we understand exact apply, we can step into that new world of sea and spray, right? Because it's adding another layer of complexity, but of efficacy on top of it, right? So um, so with the dual product solution system, you set it up in the display, uh, we can spray it separate, right? Or we can spray it 
in a combined tank, so we can spray broadcast with the whole tank, uh, or you can see and spray with the whole tank, or you can split it, right? There's different tank sizes, right? So all the way from the 1,000 gallon to the 1,600 gallon tank, and that is approximately 65-35% split between tank one and tank two, right? So your smaller tank is gonna be typically your sea and spray tank, and then your bigger tank will be typically your broadcast application tank. So this particular machine really shines with an aggressive uh, residual herbicide program, right? So coming back later in the season uh, with that contact herbicide to pick up whatever the residual lost, right? Whatever escaped from that residual application. So um, this does also have these fancy black booms here, we've got the carbon fiber truss style booms. Those are exclusive to Sea and Spray Ultimate, right? It's the only sprayer that you will see, see in, uh, carbon fiber truss style booms. So if you see a sprayer with a black boom like this, it's got to be an Ultimate machine at this point, right? Um, so they had to redesign how the boom was you know, built and, and use carbon fiber to accommodate the additional hardware that goes onto it, right? So some of that additional hardware being, as you can see right above your head there, there's a processing unit, that's called a vision processing unit, or VPU. And essentially all the cameras are speaking to every one of those VPUs and the VPUs are what tells that machine, all right, that's a weed we need to spray, right? So there's 10 total VPUs on this machine here, um, 36 cameras across the width of the entire boom, and spraying, what, 2,100 square feet per second, or looking at 2,100 square feet per second. Um, so there's a lot of, lot of information going through that system at any given time. So. Okay, pressure recirculation product reclaim, that hasn't changed, right? Since model year 22, we've had the ability to get that in our sprayers from factory, whether that's a 412R or a 412RC in spray machine. Um, with the dual product solution system, those two systems can function completely separate, right? So we pull product in with product reclaim from system one, back into tank one. We pull product back in from system two, back into tank two, right? Same thing with pressure recirculation. It's gonna recirculate just that system if you have that turned on, right? So some really nice features um, on our sprayers as it stands today. And those, those, are not, those features are not necessarily exclusive to sea and spray. Those are available for all, all the sprayers that are coming from the factory now. So um, another thing I want to hit on here is the Boom Track Ultimate. So what's Boom Track? Anybody know what Boom Track is? Jeremy, what's Boom Track? Height control, yeah, exactly. I thought I heard you say that. So, uh, boom height control, uh, essentially they redesigned it again to improve its stability, right? So in order for this system to see the weeds most effectively, it's got to be really stable, right? So essentially we added four more inertia measurement units. So we have five inertia measurement units across the width of this boom. And essentially that's going to measure where the boom is and try to counteract where the boom is going to go before it goes there, right? So it measures pitch and yaw and, and um, momentum and things like that. So. And then we do have the height sensors, right? So we've got, um, across the width of the boom, we've got our boom track sensors. You can see there's one down there. And there's also, you know, some on this boom here, you can see, but essentially just your radar sensors uh, looking at the ground to keep you at the right height, right? So improvement over the boom track pro two system. Uh, we do have that boom track ultimate, exclusive to the ultimate, C and spray ultimate machines. So, all right. So, like I said earlier, depending on how you have it set up, depending on how you want to spray, right? Most common configurations we're going to see is going to be broadcast in tank, tank two and the contact herbicide or sea and spray with tank one, right? So this is kind of a, an example of what some of those screens are going to look like, right? So there's, depending on how you have it set up, it will function differently, right? So you need to be careful on which tank mode or which tank configuration you select to accommodate what you want to do, right? Um, so those are just the examples of tank configurations. Talked about the carbon fiber booms. Talked about the cameras, right? 36 cameras across the entire width, communicating to 10 VPUs across the entire width as well. There's our VPU locations. Boom track, like I said there, the boom track ultimate system exclusive to this sprayer uh, helps keep that boom steady and level in the field as you're spraying. So essentially, this system requires it to see the weed, right? So we, we have a couple of things. They recommend spraying with rows, right? We have the ability to spray cross rows, um, but essentially it goes with, if it can't see it, it's not gonna spray it, right? So the more you drive across the row, there's more potential that you might miss a weed here and there. Um, but 
it will work, right? So, and then obviously once the canopy's closed, you're not gonna see weeds below the canopy, um, but volunteer corn, right? That sticks up above the canopy, right? And we don't have to broadcast the whole field anymore because we can go out and we can spot spray that volunteer corn. So uh, a lot of really neat functionality that we gain with this sprayer uh, going forward. So uh, earlier this morning, there was a presentation that Kyle uh, Patton was given and he said, uh, he'd mentioned that 80 to 90% of our sprayers in the next, what, 10 years, are gonna have some sort of sea and spray te type technology on them. So this is, when we talk about where's the future of ground application going, this is where the future of ground application is going, right? It's going to seeing weeds and not broadcasting the whole field, but just spraying on top of those weeds. So 